laser technology and three-dimensional holography. The scene you saw was just a hologram created by many laser rays. It was an outlook what might be possible with 3D holography in the future. I will now explain how this method works. To achieve 3D holography, laser rays have to be focused on a certain point in the air to ionize it. If you want to understand the ionization, you have to look at the lasers causing it. There's a gas in the internal space of a laser. You now see the atomic nucleus of an oxygen atom here. It is shaped of 8 protons and 8 neutrons and is used here representatively for substances may be used in lasers for light generation. You will either find 8 electrons in the atomic envelope, with every two of them building a pair. The more distant an electron is from the nucleus, the more energy it carries. This is why 90% of the electrons are situated in special areas, the so-called orbitals, which are similar to energy levels. You are now faced a light particle, called a photon, which contains light energy. If the photon collides with an electron, then this energy is given to the electron, which can leave the atomic envelope for a brief moment using this energy. The photon's additional energy and the one of another photon is bundled up in a third photon and the moment the electron reaches the envelope again. This photon is kept in the same direction the first one had when it leaves the atom. This process is called induced emission, which means that not only one electron, but many are simultaneously leaving and returning to the envelope. Two mirrors are located in the internal space of the laser. The first one is reflecting all photons so that they change their direction. They then hit the second semi-permeable mirror. Photons reflected by this one are agitating new electrons of the gas atoms so that new photons are emerging. The resulting photons are causing a laser ray, as they are flying in the same direction, having the same wavelength. This ray is of high energy. The light generation during the ionization of air particles works basically the same way, with the difference that the light emission is not induced, but spontaneous. That means that the light spreads to all directions, because the second photon and the first photon does not have the same direction. Via the combination of red, green and blue lasers, it is possible to get multicolored pictures, although laser light is monochrome, as its unique wavelength depends on the change duration between the outer and the inner envelope. Nowadays, the amount and the size of different 3D objects are little, because the device is able to create only a few dots in the air. The dots are also not multicolored, 